ladies, and certainly not gentlemen, welcome to the Swami Burrito Show. I'm the mysterious lover, and we got to get very political in this joint. So I said, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. For the Swami Burrito Show. Hey, look, it's the Swami Burrito Television Show, dude. Oh, yeah, look at it. That dude's black. Wait, what about that other guy? Wait, shoot. Oh, there he is. That dude is dope. Hey, I remember those guys. This song rocks, man. Guys at Tampon. Get out of town, man. Hey, what's up? Look at the bay. Dude, I'm tripping. What's up? Help. Oh, I see. Well, take it away, boys. Swami Burrito, and as you can see, I'm a little, well, a little shit-faced, but let's not go into that right now. Actually, today's hey, subject... Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry. There's, Today, there's some ladies that's watching right now. Watch your voice, man. Watch all right, I'm voice. sorry. I've got a little poo face going. Poo. Is that more appropriate for you, Mr. Shoe? You keep making me keep rhyme. Keep it sexy. Just keep it sexy. Hey, boys and girls out there, as you know, I'm Swami Burrito. That is my cohort, my co-host, my, well, we're going to leave it at that. That is the mysterious lover. Yeah, how's everybody Mr. doing Shoe. out there? How's everybody doing? Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Where did you come up with that voice? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Ladies and gentlemen, as usual, we are always live. And you know what? We, we've effect. dressed up a little bit today because it is Halloween, of course. Oh, this is my everyday get-up, Swami. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Well, this that's scary. And let me this tell is, you what's really... This is how I uh, attract all the flocks. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you something, because about Halloween, it's, it's, it's a, a very scary time in the United States. Because you know what else is coming up on Tuesday? A nightmare, which is the primaries, the general election for the president, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, not the primaries, but just the... <laughs> just the I mean, no, no, no. Yeah, the All election. right, Sergeant Dick, keep it low down there. Yeah, yeah. But as usual, we want to get your input, because you know we've got 30 minutes to waste your valuable time out there with the three stooges of a new. Yeah, yeah, with no structure. And we are live, so we have some... Matter of fact, a show with no structure, you got to love well, Let's find out who's... Matter of fact, we really want to find out how we can tie in Halloween and this political atmosphere that's going to happen down. It's going to go down on Tuesday, right? right? Do you already know who you're going to vote for, Mr. Shu? I'm going to vote for the, the guy who spreads love. That's what the mysterious lover is all about, spreading love. So whoever spread, spreads love, that's who I'm voting for. Oh, that's great. Well, you should sign up for an X-rated website or something, because right that right guy will spread right lots of love all over the place. I got lots of fucking stuff to... Oop. Something just started Who do you think that's spreading love out there, Swami? Uh, spread love. Well, you know that's what? It's, it's, I don't want to get too serious, but I don't really think we have a two-party system anymore. So I don't really know if there's a candidate to really choose from. So to just say, go out and vote is not something that really eases my mind. Because to go out and vote, if you don't know what's vo what you're voting for, what's the point? That's pretty deep there, Swami. Well, like that's that. all right. I'm I like that there, man. I like <laughs> that there. <laughs> well, right now I'm deep because I haven't had a couple, uh, a bath or a shower in a couple days, and I got yeah, shit all over the place. You haven't smoked either, right? I got rotch, I got croc, uh, crotch rot, which is really, if you come over here, you want to take a sniff? No, nah, no, nah, the mysterious lover don't go there. <laughs> Let's see who's on the phone. We had someone on the phone, but then they dropped off. But that's okay. You know why? Because it's always up to me and you, baby. Always up to me and you. And as usual, you're elaborating as quickly, snapping in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're terrible, man. Are you going to help me out here? 
Are you going to help me out? Yeah, I'll help you out, man. Introduce hey, we, the guests, man. We Introduce really do. We are, ladies and gentlemen out there, we are live, okay? We are live, so we need your input. We want to know what you're going to be doing for Halloween and what you're going to be doing on Tuesday. If you care about Tuesday or if you care about Halloween, either one, that's what we want to talk to you about. We've got about a lot more time. Uh, <laughs> attaboy, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you got yeah, me. Yeah, what? Who the who put who hung this up here with the paper clip and everything? I did. <laughs> Nicely done. I didn't even know how you would do that. That's good. Hey, don't look at everyone and see pretend what's pretend underneath I'm the desk. Hiding. Pretend uh, I'm hiding. Okay, we'll pretend. Wait a minute. Who's this guy, Swami? Who's this, uh, who's this gentleman right here? Man? This is you know who this is. This is Sergeant Dick Righteous, man. He's good chiming in. for duty, America. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We already got, we've He's already perfect. got a cod piece out there. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, we are live. We need your help out there because if you're not involved, we're not doing much. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's right. the name of the show, man, right? Okay. Hey, what? Well, first of all, Dick Righteous. Bring the questions on. Let me get right to the point, okay? You got to flip your microphone up so we can actually hear your voice, not your chest hairs rubbing, you know, sounding like uh, static clean. <laughs> oh, see yeah, I, it's rare for me to say something like this, but I prefer you on drugs. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Dick Righteous. <laughs> you got right to the point. Let me look some of this crap off, cuz. Is that feces? Yeah. My God, it's taking you all half a show to spell that out. Well, no, the no. The man has feces on his hands. No, no, no. He's licking it off. I was making cookies look. the other day, and I figured, you know what? I had a bunch of sugar and just ate it up, and now, right now, my shit tastes sweet. It's not bad, I have to admit. <laughs> what? It's better than saying my shit don't stink, huh? Okay. Well, <laughs> this this show has just dropped to a new low. <laughs> and you guys are frozen stiff. What's going on here? Well, I, I just, I've never seen a man lick his own feces off his, off his fingers. Well, you so know what? That's you know what it that's is, new man? for me. I heard uh, the other day, but, though. You know, I have seen quite a few things after doing two tours of duty in Afghanistan and Iraq. And, uh, I think that's Iraq. Iraq? Iraq. Mm -hmm. Iraq. No, that's a, Iraq that's a Camaro. Z. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen quite a show. few things. And yes, in <laughs> Kabbalah, they do wipe their hand with their ass. That's true. But they then wash it in goat's milk. And that's the difference between what I'm seeing here and what I saw in Kabbalah. Yeah, they wash it in goat's milk. Ugh. So tell us a little bit more about your adventures over there in Iraq. Well, uh, uh, at the pleasure of the president, I... Uh, you pleasured the president? Uh, did I say that? Yeah, you That's did. not what I meant to say. Oh, I'm sorry. And if I'm called to question on that in front of the Congress, I will testify the Fifth Amendment. What I'm saying is... Wow. We we hit the we, we hit the Kabbalah. I, I went to Kabbalah and and Kamadala. Hey man, hey man, hey really man, what the hell are you talking about, man? Do we got any phone calls? Anybody want to speak political? We want to know who you're voting for out there. Yeah, it's very serious. It's a very it's clear very clear serious choice. this year. And the Latin and the mysterious lover. I'm not the Latin lover. That's my brother. The mysterious <laughs> lover wants to know who you're voting for because it's all about love and whatever. Candidate that's out there to spread love. That's who I'm voting for. Well, let's see. There's someone on line one. I think one. it's Clinton. Let's, well, let's, let's see. Let's see if, Clinton back let's see if we get some help this on line one. This is not a time for love, Swami. Who do we have on with Swami Burrito? Oh, uh, did they just jump off right now? Who are we, who are we talking to? Oh, I guess they're off. Well, hopefully they'll come back live with us in a second. But you know what? Really, we do need your help, people out there, because uh, it's it's not very serious. I mean, does it really matter who you vote for? Does it really matter? Uh, if you're worried about getting, uh, you know, uh, how should I put it, uh, incinerated, then no. If you're not worried about that, no. If you are worried about being protected and not having your women and children raped by Arab guys, you better vote for Bush. Oh, you think Kerry can't do the job? Is that what you said? Kerry is half woman. So you rather have a half, you instead of a half woman, you rather have a religious heretic that basically believes in the end of the world, so that's why his policy on, bear, on environmental laws is, is as weak as it's ever been in the history of the United States. 
Why do you need to save the environment when the world's going to end in the second coming and the second coming of oh, Jesus Christ is coming? Oh, I see. Oh, we have ourselves another religious right. Right, right here. Yeah, he's <laughs> dig right. You can put labels on me, but if you're not ready for the Armageddon, right. you lose. Let's see. Let's see if there's a phone call that wants to agree with that position. Who are we talking to? Yo. Yo, who's up with Swami Burrito and Mysterious Lover, Mr. Shoe? We also got uh, Sergeant Dick Righteous on the phone. What's going on today? All right, what's up? Yeah, I'm just calling you to say that. This for Kay. I'm going to vote for Kay. All right, you're right going to vote for right Kay. On, First right of on. all, okay, since you, are you gonna join the Army, volunteered son? the information, uh, why you voted for Kerry? Why are you going to vote for Kerry? Huh? Why are you voted for Kerry? Because Bush is a little faggot. Uh, all right, well, I totally agree That's with you on that one. That's the part of the United States. Hey, I hey, 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 sit back. That's right, hey, I told you. I'll find you, young man. Are you going to find me? Yes. All right, so, come get me right here. Where, you're in Highland Park? Okay, I'll get there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mysterious lover can't stand. You don't talk about the president like that. Bro, bro, hold on, hold on a second. Bro, what's your name, first of all? We can't stand for this. Louis. So, yeah. Mysterious Lover, what's up with Louie? You're having some... Hey, what's up, Mysterious Lover? What you got to say about me? Well, what's up, Louie? I, I agree with you, my brother. I, I think you're voting for the right man. And uh, he's spreading love, so go out and spread some love oh, with some Mr. girls Robert out there. All right, hey, that's the coolest guy for me. I like that guy right there. That little pair guy, he's cool right there. Right on, right on. That little tough guy, that stone cold guy. There you go. I'm trying to be a little tough guy, but... A stone you know, cold. Gonna... I will take you down! Oh. I will disembowel you! Oh. You won't even see it coming. Hey, Louie, he thinks you he's will not see it he's, coming. He's getting, right. hey, hey, he's hey, getting turned on and shit. All right. All right, dude. Hey, all right. So I will look. not allow the Arabs to rape me anally. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> they, hey, exactly my hey. sentiment, Louie. Exactly my sentiment. Hey, hey, you're messing up. Come on. I'm trying to be cool with you, and you're just coming at me. Yeah, what's going on with that, man? We got a good We got a good show rolling. We got our guest calling in. What's hey, you, what you happening with our, our, our show, our guest? What's going on with he's that? I will take everyone down. He's you know, a bush. Cool. Tell them all about it, Louie. Tell them what's up, man. Tell them we're straight from what it comes from, from Highland yeah. Park. Yeah, that's right. We're from Highland Park from right here, representing from Los Angeles. That's Let right. This guy right here is trying to come and trip on me and Let shit. Let him know. Well, you, know what? Know. you know what? That's why. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. It's all good. That's hey, right. you said something bad about the president. All right, fucking Mr. President, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, hey, man. You know what about Big Brother, Louie? He may knock on your door after these few comments. Yeah, come get me right here. Come uh, get me. All right, Louie. We'll talk to you later. Check out. Hey, 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 Dr. Dick Righteous. I think you I'm should not a come. doctor. Well, whomever you Sergeant. are. I think you should come to the School you of Hard Knock or. Love, man. Love? The School of Hard Knock Love. It, it, you're a bush lover, man. We can all see it. Wait a minute. First I'm of a goat all, lover. Let's not confuse things because I'm a bush lover. I'm just not a George Bush lover. You know what I mean? Well, a bird in the hand beats two in the bush. A bird in this hand would get me off right now. That's see, for damn sure. That, that young man, there was nothing that was wrong with him that I... 18 week boot camp wouldn't cure. <laughs> well, a boot camp? Why is that? Why would, what would 18 weeks of boot camp do? <laughs> it, would, it would take him from a, a young, undisciplined, <laughs> confused, high man to someone, a, a boy to a man. I think you need to squeeze your nuts a little harder. Yeah, man. Go Jack. Who are we talking to? This is Swami Burrito and Mysterious Lover Mr. Shoe and hey, Sergeant hey, hey, Dick. Hey, how's everybody doing Sergeant, out there? Just, just stick with Sergeant I Dick. I captive uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, hey, Jim, what's going on today, bro? How much? How you we're doing? Hey, we're talking. Well, we're doing all right. Thank God you guys are helping us out because uh, if it was just us three in here, you know what I mean? We'd be getting out the razor blades and right to the wrist. So, uh, Jim, wow. we want to know. That's hardcore, man. <laughs> yeah. We want to know. <laughs> it's Halloween, bro. So who are you picking for the, the president this year? Or do Kerry. you have a choice? All right, you're going with Kerry. Why do you with Kerry? Because he volunteered to serve his country, and the other guy didn't. He stayed behind and uh, uh, did what he ever He was in the Air man. Force, Finag young man. He finagled his way to the top, man. You know what? That's funny, Jim, because uh, I was well, had to protect the home front. I could have George Bush stepped up and did it. Excuse right. me for a second, Sergeant Dick. <laughs> uh, I could have swore about five years ago there was a questioning that his uh, his active uh, participation in the armed forces were kind of questionable, and then all of a sudden, this last three months prior to the election, pictures have been coming out showing him in a cockpit. Well, I can understand the cock part, but I don't understand the pit, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why Did anyone you see would... him come on that aircraft carrier with his flight suit? I he was... looked damn good, damn presidential. Oh, really? So, like uh, show, uh, the, again, it's all about, you know, the religious heretics looking good. You know what I'm talking about, Jim? When he was wearing that flight suit, and, uh, you know, I 
a tear came to my eye. <laughs> a tear came to your eye. Why is that? You're you're feeling your patriotism. God bless America. <laughs> And That's another thing. God, let me ask you a question, Sergeant. Grow. Why does God only bless America? God bless my cop. Why does God only bless America? You mean your chicken? Yeah, your chicken. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jim, uh, I'm with you, bro. I'm going to vote for Kerry. Not that I think he's any better, but the, it's uh, kind of the lesser of two evils. That's where I'm coming from, bro. Exactly. And I'm a Republican. And he's a Repub He's. We have Jim sure. on the phone that's voting for Kerry. Hey, can yes. we play? Can Sir, we play some games? You are a disgrace to your party. <laughs> He's disgraced to his party. Is there really a two-party system anymore, uh, Sergeant Dick? There's clearly two parties. If you believe that uh, gays should be running around aborting women in this voluntarily, is, hold on a second. Hold on. Fine. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There's several parties. Hold on. He just touched love, on peace, understanding, Mr. unity. Lover, he just touched on an issue. Harmony. He just touched on a, a very sensitive issue. There's a lot of parties, yours. man. He just talked about gays and not having gays in the military. Well, you know, you were, we were talking about that. That's not what I said. I was in the military. Uh, see, there you go. What are you going to do? Are you going to are you going to mess with one of our vets? Yeah, were you, were you were discharged involuntarily, weren't you? No, it was honorable. I served four honorable years. Damn! Did you, did you yeah, ever have no. discharge on your chin? <laughs> <laughs> no, he had just, I'm sure you had discharge. Only you would know places. about that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think you guys are getting toes here. <laughs> hey, Jim, thanks for the phone call, bro. We'll be looking out for you in the future. Thank you. Talk Semper to you later. Fi! That's right, Semper Fi. What the hell does that mean, anyways? It means fight on fight forever. On. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. A mysterious yeah. lover, but uh, you know what I wanted to ask you. What do you want to ask me? Uh, you like you like uh, these. You like what happened the other day with the Red Sox finally winning after 86 years. And you're a sports guy, right? I'm a yeah, sports yeah, guy. Yeah. You know what's been bothering me a little bit lately is I'm having a problem with this God bless America and these these guys that basically after they win they bless to whoever they bless to, right? Why don't we see at the end of the game when they're losing, they bless to God? I want to know what's going on with that. Why is it only a winning situation? Well, I'm sure they're happy that they played the game, but man, how can you say God bless America when you're sad, when you've just been beaten? <laughs> well, hey man, you can, if you're going to praise, if you're going to praise, you, you, praise, you, you better be praise when you're happy you when you're well, sad. Listen, 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 no doubt, no you've no been doubt, confused no about doubt, this no point doubt. for quite a while. Okay. But you have to express all sides of you, man. All different sides of you. Sometimes you're sad, Well, before you guys start elaborating, sometimes you want to point I know somebody. we're at a halfway point. I hate to cut you guys off, but we're at a halfway point. We're going to be taking a break pretty soon with Gus, and he'll help us out. And also, Gus is the director. That's the guy that sat behind the panel there that told you to get your ass out here on time. Oh, that guy. Yeah. 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 You know, you're not in the military anymore. You need someone to keep you up on your toes. Well, that reminds me, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you do, Gus, hey, please hey, help Gus. us out with some uh, some uh, sound effects because it's getting low. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I just made a pineapple upside down cake. You want a piece? No. Let's go cruising. Okay. Uh, hey, isn't that dangerous? Come on. So anyway, I'm at MJ's, right? I'm sitting outside the glory hall, picking my nose, and all of a sudden, the biggest, blackest shaft comes through. It was black? So, I don't know who it was, but it looked like Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my God. Isn't that Bruce? Yeah, it's Bruce. Oh, Mr. Kung Fu Queer Boy. Hey, he's in our territory again. Yeah, and he stole my sofa. So we're going to have a little talk with him right now. Yeah, let's go talk to him. He thinks he's such a badass. You know, if I had an Asian metabolism, I'd be all skinny too. Hey, Bruce, what's going on? Where's my sofa? Yeah, bud, what are you doing? What do you guys want? I want my sofa. I don't have your sofa. Oh, yeah? Well, then you need to get out of here because this is our poll. Who's going to make me get out of here? Yeah, you're going to say. Hey, get, get off of me. Hey, hey, hey. take it easy. 
Take it easy. Calm I got down. Don't get anybody get nervous. I got him, Maurice. Oh, you got him. Smell this little fart. Hey. Mm hmm. What, what, yeah. What? Give it to him, Maurice. What are you guys trying to do to me? Give it to him, Maurice. Yeah. You're going to learn not to mess with my sofa. You're going to hey. learn hey, it's not about my me. sofa. Somebody dropped a penny. Oh, my God. Double anal. Okay. <coughs> you guys are going to hey, pay hey, for hey, this. Look out. He's going for your crotch. Hey. You guys are going to pay for this. Damn. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. You let go of his knee first. Here, I'm going to kick him. Uh, Ooh, there. How'd you uh, like that? Uh, 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 oh, yeah, don't mess with the rough gay boys. I think of... you broke my chopstick. Yeah, we're going to break more than that. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Team America, oh. eat that. That was done six months ago, ladies and gentlemen. So that's a little precursor to what you can expect, I'm sure. <laughs> You're missing the point, skull nuts. <laughs> the point is, we have been doing Mariatronic animation exactly. since 1986. <laughs> and what are you telling us? What, 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 break them down. Break them down how? Break them down with that friggin' silver thing sticking out from your face? What is that, by the way? Where the hell did you come up with that costume? Where the hell did you come up with that? Oh, I made this out of a dirty old blanket. Oh, there it is. That's why Let me see your button. You want to see? Oh, yeah. It's not a costume, man. This is me, man. The mysterious lover. This is uh, this is basically... This pretty much says it all. This is the button of the future. If you can try to get a tight shot, I don't know if you can, Dave. It's it's, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> basically... Oh, there he is. There, there he is. Look at it. Oh, he's so pretty. A bird in the hand beats he two in so the bush, pretty. man. A bird in the hand I beats two in the bush. I will say one thing, and I find that pen offensive, but... In the third debate, uh, or the second or the third debate, uh, the president did appear to be on cocaine. And that I find troubling. Uh, well, you know what? If he's on cocaine, then I'm giving him more of a benefit than I should because I thought that guy is just basically... <laughs> I mean, what has he really done since, I mean, the Iraqi invasion? Basically, we've lost over a thousand troops. I'm not trying to get serious here, but we have lost over a thousand troops. We're still having guys getting blown away over there for what? They can't find their explosive uh, uh, inventory. We got every everybody in the Middle East now branching out, basically saying the United States well, is... Well, okay, uh, those are good points, okay, but sure. you need good, to keep it in mind. Very good points, one. We've very only, good points. We've only killed 100,000 civilians according to the UN count. And I think that's pretty good, considering the tonnage of bombs that were dropping on that place. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the quota? What, what's the... the uh... What's the cutoff point for civilians uh, dead? Okay, if you uh, want to put it that way. Let me think. Uh, hey, by the rash. end of the year, I think we should... If we are at 200,000, I will be satisfied with that as an efficient quota. That is uh, 200,000 civilians lost. Hey, Lives it's called collateral reason. damage. I think you need to go rent the movie. Uh, yeah, that's one of those. Hey, hey, well, hey, man, I don't think anyone should, should be killed, out, man. Yeah. All I want to say, if, if, if I was over there and I was pleading to my country, hey, pull out and save me because these guys are going to kill me, and, and the U.S. wouldn't pull out for me, man. Oh man, that's fucked. I mean, that's you know, you know. That's oh, not good, you're talking man. about the beheadings. Yeah, man. None that's of that's not, real. I mean, that's all Hollywood special man, effects. Don't even worry it's, about it's that. It's really effed up. Any oh. moron with a computer and a camera phone could uh, make that happen. Wait a minute. Watch wait, me. Wait, I'm gonna wait. cut my head off. Oh, 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 my head's coming off. Where's the ketchup? Come on. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Excuse my French. It's baloney. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I don't. I don't really think. I don't think that that was fake. I, I mean, let's not go over the top yeah, and not. Come on. Okay. Those uh, those, those, but I would be really upset. What does that R stand couldn't, for on I'd your hat? Dead. Sucker. I couldn't, be, I couldn't be upset. I would be dead. It sounds like it stands for rage. Because be right now I'm raging, mother. I'm raging with you, Sergeant Dick. I think the real problem is Saddam. Ah. I want to say this to my president. Ah. President Bush, ah. sir. Why is so spooky in here? What's going on? <laughs> Why is Let's Osama still track. beating? Breathing. Let's beating. Let's Why is his heart still beating? Let's ask the caller. Who's on with Swami Burrito? Who's on? Oh, you're checking out. Come on, we can hear you. We're waiting for you to talk. Who's on with Swami Burrito? He's dead. Ignorant. I have a high school education. Can you say that? Hey, Jimmy, educate him, will you please? 
thing. Bush is a warmonger. Why do you want to vote for Bush? You're gonna, you're, what's that? You want to kill? Yeah, this guy wants to vote for Bush. Bush? He, he's voting for Bush. Uh, Bush is a warmonger. He's killing all those kids. I totally agree with you. Absolutely. And what do you think? Do you, but let's let's say the Ho -ho! let's say the Kerry gets in the office. Okay, Jimmy. So what kind of difference is going to make? What, what's it going to do? John Kerry's got to get rid of him. He's going to get the problem done properly. How's he going? to... Well, I mean, has he actually told us what he's going to do? I mean, if you were running for president and you were saying to the people, "Believe me," wouldn't you explain how you would make or correct the problems? Okay. Interesting. Hey, wants to do another. Draft. Yeah, the military draft. Yeah, another You know, draft. it wouldn't kill you to go kill some uh, Iraqis, all right? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, okay? You go with a couple buddies, well, you guys sign up, there. you get we'll your own army. army. What? Go we'll join the army then. Yeah, I, I, I've served. Trust me, I've served. What? what I've what, served. What, and served and served. I just got back. What are you talking what about? What branch of the military did you serve in? That's bullshit. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's a special tactical team. I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's called the Black Scorpions. <laughs> Take off your glasses. I want to see your eyes. The Black Scorpions. He's talking to, He says that he's... The eyes are the last thing you see, my friend. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what? He called you a pussy. Oh, up. I got a your big, pussy right big, wet, here. pink, drippy, syphilitic pussy. There you go, buddy. You said that with feelings. Eat the well, clam. It's, it's been a while, you know what I mean? <laughs> I would say we're already out of time. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, thanks for the phone call, bro. Let me give you a hand. And, uh, <laughs> shoo, I, that, that show went way faster than I thought it was going to go. Look for us again, Swami Burrito Television. We're here for you. We are the new Stooges. Well, that's what we like to think of ourselves. Not and when you don't smoke. <laughs> well, no, I'll be smoking after this show. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I'll be taking one or two. Yeah. But uh, again, check for us in the future. And if you're going to vote, vote because you want to vote, not because Rock the Vote says to. MTV, take a DJ out of here. Stop.